Okay. I love creating call out block buttons in Notion or quotes. Are those a thing? That's such a 90s, 2000s thing. I don't know if it's still a cool thing to do, but we're going to do it anyways. Let's bring back the air quotes, guys. Anyways, I love using call out block buttons all over my Notion workspaces in different areas, like my template access page signature on the Notion for Creatives website. I use them in client proposals. I use them all over the place. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom call out block buttons in Notion. But first, if we haven't met, hey there, I'm Tasia like Fantasia, and this is another Notion quick tip video for you. Before we get into it, I would love it if you take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you stay in the loop anytime a new quick tip video comes out. All right, so what I'm talking about with these call out block buttons is just like this. This is where I have a call out block. I have the text highlighted and it's hyperlinked to, in this case, my Twitter account. Or, and then it's just built out with a call out block and a custom icon. So some examples are my Twitter link, my Instagram link, my YouTube channel link, and then also the Notion for Creatives, the website link, the Twitter link, and the Discord invite link. If you want to create these for yourself, it's very quick and easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All you need to do is go ahead and use that slash command to create a call out block. And from here, all we want to do is go to that custom icon. Let's upload a file. Let's say we want to do YouTube. So we'll pick that YouTube link, go ahead and go to YouTube. And this is where you can set the background color. You can do it as a highlighted background. So let's say I wanted to do a red button, then it's red like YouTube. I like to make the text bold and I use keyboard shortcuts a lot. So I just hit command B to make it bold. We can change that color to red. And now we have a red YouTube call out block, but we need to add that link in order to make it a true button. See my air quotes. <laughs> so let's say it's youtube.com slash Natasia creates link to web page. So you want to make sure it links to the web page. A lot of times what I do is I just go and highlight the URL and then pop it in here. But for the purpose of this video, I was just typing it out by hand. So now you have a YouTube button. And let's say we want to also create another website. So let's duplicate that, but let's put this over here. And now they are formatted to where when the page, depending on device, if the page is wider or smaller, as long as you don't mess with the column formatting, it'll automatically adjust so that they are the same size in different views. Anyways. For the website, let's go ahead and make this one a purple background so it looks more like a button again. And I'm going to pop over, grab a URL, and now I'm going to go ahead, let's highlight that, let's remove that link. So now this is just blank text, and I wanna show you a quick and cool shortcut that you can use in Notion now. I'm going to pop over and grab a URL real quick and show you a neat little trick that I love using for hyperlinking text in Notion. So if you head over to the website, go ahead and copy that, either Command C or you highlight it and then hit copy. Come back over to Notion, highlight the text you want to hyperlink, and then all you have to do is hit Command V and that is now hyperlinked. So pretty cool. I can now go to my YouTube channel or over to my website and there we have your own little custom buttons in Notion. Okay, I hope you guys found this week's Notion quick tip video helpful and let me know in the comments below if you're gonna use this in your own workspace. As always friends, stay creative.